In this video, you're going to learn how to graph parabolas by first completing the square and putting it in the standard form of the equation of a parabola so you can identify the vertex, the focus, the directrix, etc. And we're going to go through two examples together. So let's dive in. The first thing we want to analyze is the different forms of the equation of a parabola. Like it's either going to be in this x minus h squared form or this y minus k squared form. If the term that involves the x is squared, we know the parabola opens up or down. If it's the y squared that's term, term that's squared, it's going to open to the left or the right. So that's important. And then we'll talk about the graph in a minute as far as how to, uh, you know, identify the focus, the directrix, etc. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at this equation and we notice that this is a y squared type. See how there's a y that's squared but not an x squared? So that means we want to put it into this form right here. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to get everything that has a y on the left side of the equation, everything else on the right. So let's go ahead and subtract uh, 2x and subtract 8 from both sides of this equation. So that's giving us y squared plus 12y equals negative 2x minus 8. Okay, now here's where the completing the square comes in. You take this number that's in front of the y, you divide it by 2, and you square it. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 squared is 36. But if I add 36 to the right, I have to add 36 to the left. So this is oftentimes referred to as like b. You're dividing it by 2, and you're squaring it, and you're adding it to both sides to keep the equation balanced. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to factor this left side. It's a perfect square. It's going to factor to y plus 6, the quantity squared. This number here is always going to be half of this b value. If it was negative 12y, this would be minus 6. Okay, on the right side, we have negative 2x. Uh, let's see, that comes out to plus 28. I'm going to factor out this leading coefficient here, this negative 2. That becomes x minus 14 if I divide these both by negative 2. And now we have it in the standard form of the equation of a parabola. So that's this form right here. We can identify the vertex, h comma k. It's going to be positive 14, negative 6. Notice that one that's grouped with the x is the opposite sign. The same thing with the y, the opposite sign. So it's the opposite. Make sure the one with the x is the x, the one with the y is the y, that you don't just go from left to right. So vertex is at 14 negative 6 would be right about here, roughly. Okay, so there's your vertex. Now, it's a y squared, so we said it's going to open to the left or the right. If this number is negative, that means it's going to open to the left. If it was positive, it would open to the right. So this negative 2 is equal to 4p. So we're going to say 4p equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 4. p is equal to negative 1 half. So what that means is we're going to go one half to the left, that's our focus. Okay, so let's write that down. So focus is at 13.5, negative 6. Our directrix, that's this line right here, that the parabola opens away from, is going to be one half to the, to the right. That's going to be the line y equals 14.5. Now, at the level of the focus, it's always going to be 4 times p wide. So we said p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. This width at the level of the focus is 4 times p. Uh, 4 times negative 1, uh, 4 times negative 1 half is negative 2, or you could just say 2. Uh, so if I go from the focus up 1 and down 1, that's going to give me a width of 2. So that's how wide our parabola is at the level of the focus. So let's take a look at another example. Okay, if you're getting the hang of this, try example number 2 on your own. We've got x squared plus 6x plus 5y plus 19 equals 0. Notice how this is an x squared type. There's not a y squared. So we're going to put it into this form right here, x minus h squared. And so to do that, let's get everything that uh, doesn't have an x in it on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 5y uh, minus 19 from both sides. That's going to give us, let's see, x squared plus 6x equals negative 5y minus 19. Now, if there's a coefficient, like a number in front of this x squared, like a 2, I would divide everything by 2. You know, if there was a 3, I'd divide everything by 3. It makes it easier to complete the square. So now what we do is we take half of this b value and we square it. So half of 6 is 3, but 3 squared is 9. If I add 9 to the left, I have to add 9 to the right to keep it balanced, right? 
when you square this, this is always going to be a positive number. Now when you factor this, it's always going to factor to half of this middle coefficient. So x plus 3, the quantity squared. If this is minus 6x, this would be minus 3. You can check it if you write x plus 3 times x plus 3 and you FOIL it, you'll get back this original. Now over here we have negative 5y minus 10. I'm going to factor out this leading coefficient, the negative 5. That's going to give us y plus 2. You can check your work by distributing. You'll get back the original there. Okay, now we have it in the standard form of the equation of our hyperbola, right? It's an x squared type, which means we know it's opening up or down, but because this is negative, it's going to open down. The vertex is going to be at negative 3, negative 2. So it's the opposite signs here. So left 3, down 2, that's our vertex. Uh, and now our focus, see how this is equal to 4p? So 4p equals negative 5, divide both sides by 4, p is equal to negative 5 fourths. So that means that we're going to go down 1 and 1 fourth, right about there. That's our focus. Uh, if we want to write this coordinate here, we can say this is going to be negative 3, and then this is uh, negative 1 and 1 fourth, so this would be negative 3 and 1 fourth. And if we go up negative 1 and 1 fourth, that directrix would be this horizontal line, let's see, up 1 and 1 fourth, right about here. And that's going to be y is equal to negative 3 fourths. Let's double check that. Uh, yep, that negative 3 fourths. Okay, so now at the level of the focus, it's 4p wide. So it's going to be 5 units wide. So that means I'm going to want to go right 2 and a half and left 2 and a half to give us a width of five units. So that's how wide the parabola is uh, at the level of the focus. And you've got a good sketch of your graph. Uh, let's see, we said the equation of the directrix is y equals negative three-fourths, and you got it. So great job if you're able to follow this video. If you want to see some more examples uh, with completing the square and graphing parabolas, I'll put a video that I did previously right there. Follow me to that video, and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you over there.